Hello everyone, welcome back once again. This is video number four. And in this video, we will be logging into Azure portal. We will be doing the sign up uh, using the free account. And I will walk you through the console and the basic uh, structure of it. Also, as part of the assignment of this video lecture, make sure you document everything that we learn in this video and share your progress on LinkedIn or uh, create the blog post tag me and tag az900 with piyush so without wasting any time further let's start the video all right i'm in my web browser i'll just quickly google sign up azure did a type over there but it's okay so the first link over here microsoft azure get your free trial it should be the one that you will be clicking i'll click on that and it will ask you to start free or pay as you go click over here start free and then it will ask you the Microsoft login account details. So enter your email address over here. And your password and it will email the code to you. So I enter my code. If you are using your Microsoft live account for the first time, it will ask you some details. So let's put those details. Okay, hit next. Confirm your age. Okay, next. Hit sign in. Okay, now it will again ask you some basic details. Over here, text me to verify your identity. Put the verification code, verify code, and you enter the rest of the details. Okay, next. Okay, it will ask you your uh, credit card details. Put everything and hit sign up. You can go over here portal.azure.com and uh, this is like your AWS console but for Azure. So this is Azure portal. Let's quickly see the navigation menu. So over here on the left side where you see three uh, lines, you click on that it will show you all the different resources that we have in Azure and you can pin your favorite resources or you can click over here all services. You can create a new resource by many ways. One is this one, create a resource. Other is use the resource from this side. Or you can go over here and hit create resource from this plus sign. Okay. And you just search the resource from different categories or search it over here. Or just click over the resource if you see, you know, let's say web app. So hit create. There are many different ways. And there is this way as well. So if you go back and hit over here in the search, just enter anything, let's say virtual machine and your resource will be visible over here. Right? So like AWS, like GCP, it also has a lot of uh, options to access your resource. Okay, So that is the console menu. Now over here on the right side, if you see, this is from where you can start your cloud shell. You click on that. It will ask you to select your subscription. And then because your cloud shell needs a storage account, it creates storage where your all the temporary files will be located and it will be a persistent storage. That means that means your file will not be deleted. So once the storage account is created, it is just for the first time, one time thing, and it will connect you to the cloud shell. So cloud shell is like terminal attached to this cloud portal. So when you can run, where you can run uh, Unix commands or Windows PowerShell commands to access the cloud services. Over here, if you see on this menu, it says bash because this uh, default shell is bash. But you can click on the drop down and you can change it to PowerShell as well. So you can use either of those as per your needs. Now you can run AZ command line because this Cloud Shell already has AZ command line tool installed. So you can run uh, AZ CLI commands. Let's say AZ hyphen hyphen help. It already has that AZ CLI tool installed. So it will show you different options that you can use but we will be looking that later in the course. But for now, I just wanted to uh, show you how it will look like. Now, if you want to, like there is this option to restart Cloud Shell as well from here. Then we have settings. 
which will basically pop up the setting of this terminal window then from here you can upload and download the files just simply click on that it will be like uh, like how you do in your windows machine and you can open a new session from here or you can open the editor so over here this will be command line but if you want an ide environment such as visual code you click on that open editor and it will show you something like this let's say you have a file dash profile so you can just edit the file from here instead of going through the vi editor you can just close it from here on the right side i close the cloud shell so like me click it again okay and on the right side if we see this was the cloud shell then this is directories and subscription so if i go to this it will show my subscription currently i have one subscription which is the default subscription that it is showing over here as well default directory and if you if you are part of multiple subscription then you can switch back and forth between the subscription over here will be your notifications when you make any operation or any change in the service over here is the settings again like directory and service subscription etc this would be your settings support and troubleshooting you can create the support tickets if if your plan allows it so over here help and support you can create a support ticket with azure and basically that's it right that's it for this video guys i just wanted to have a quick uh, overview of uh, azure portal how it will look like how you can navigate and we will uh, look into it in the detail as well in the upcoming videos so do not worry about it like the task for this video is sign up uh, to an azure portal and uh, you will get some free credits that you can use in the next few months also uh, try to document all the learnings from this video like how can we interact with the azure portal how can we how can we interact with the Azure resources? What are the different ways? How to access Cloud Shell and all those things. I will see you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.